Being part of the community connects you to more, to other and more young people who are passionate in what they do. We come from different fields, different backgrounds, different political persuasions, different beliefs, but just the fact that you're connected to people who are passionate with what they're doing already is inspiring, but on a more practical level, it connects you to people who are doing good things as well. A great project that we worked on was with Deepak Ravindran, a fellow batchmate and somebody I got really close to uh, in the batch of 2013. And he's known for offline internet. So what is that? It's basically an SMS system that trans, it's like Google search, but for SMS. So I can ask, what is Asia 21 via SMS? And I will get a reply bite sites. So it connects offline communities. It's very, it seems like a very simple technology, but it's an incredibly powerful one. And with him, uh, we were able to deploy that in the Philippines. Um, well, we have uh, collaborations with, uh, uh, with uh, other Asian 21 fellows, one of which is, I, I, I remember this very vividly, is the one with uh, Sabrina and uh, Adam Gilmore, uh, where we uh, brought them here and we visited the uh, public schools more than 10,000 uh, public school students had been directly benefited by this program, collaboration, where they brought uh, astronaut suits and uh, astronaut footwear. All these young children were fascinated and were amazed at the uh, wonders of science and particularly space exploration. So Sabrina, being an astronaut trainer and Adam being a uh, space shuttle engineer, explained their work and they were so fascinated, the, the children were so fascinated and amazed and inspired that they've met really people from NASA. So that's one thing, uh, and I think the kind of impact it has on children is trans transformative. Yeah. The collaborative work we've done with Asia 21 and um, Asia Society involved information campaigns. Um, one information campaign included um, a lecture on how science can help protect human rights. Um, in that particular um, lecture forum, I spoke about our work um, on wrongfully convicted individuals. I am a DNA forensic scientist and I work with DNA um, that could potentially help those who have been wrongfully convicted uh, post-conviction. So in that particular forum, I spoke about the potentials and the possibilities of strengthening this technology to help those who have been um, wrongfully convicted. Ching Jorge from also from the Philippines and I um, worked on Youth Vote Philippines um, for the presidential elections a couple of years ago. And um, in Mindanao, we organized um, voters' education campaigns for um, first-time voters. Since being part of the network in 2011, it has widened my horizon. I've learned a lot from my peers, especially those from social social entrepreneurs. And I've, I've met a lot of inspiring people who have become subjects of my, my, my storytelling. Very uh, proud of our South China Sea Dialogue, which we hosted as far back as three years ago with uh, China experts from uh, the Philippines and uh, who spent a lot, a lot of time in China to talk about the South China Sea and you know, understanding the different sides around that. Most of the collaborations have been with other Philippine 21 awardees and leaders, such as a book donation project from Far Eastern University's library to two libraries that were being set up by um, Kintin Pastrana, and these were up in the northern parts of the country. It's been a very enriching experience for me. I've been able to collaborate with uh, leaders like Jason Sibog, who is a Manobo from the Philippines. We were able to establish a, uh, an indigenous cultural tourism program at the Agusan Marsh, 
which has been able to uh, uplift the lives of uh, people who live in the village.